Chairman Sir, as the whole country listened in anticipation, they were highly disappointed with the negligence shown towards the Indian Railways by the Minister. One should not forget that the Indian Railways is the lifeline of India. It is the fourth largest network, carrying over 8 billion passengers a year. The second is capacity after China. It is going through its most critical phase as the operating ratio has been quite high in the last few years. Today, India spends 97.3 rupees in order to earn 100 rupees from the railways. Now the Honorable Minister wishes to lower this ratio by increasing the gross budgetary support in 2018-19. The gross budgetary support from central government was proposed at Rs. 55,088 crore. This is a 38% increase from the revised estimate of 2017-18, which was Rs. 41,813 crore. This year, the central government has again increased the support to Rs. 66,105 crore. This means that in the last two years, the central government has increased 61% of its budgetary support. The earning from the international, internal sources, mainly the freight and the passengers traffic has gone down from 31% in 2010 to just a mega 8% in 2019. With decline internal revenue, the major source of earning of the railways is budgetary support and borrowings. The Indian Railway Finance Corporation has taken a loan of 750 million USD from Asian Development Bank in order to finance the electrification of railway tracks as proposed by the Minister. The percentage of revenue from borrowing has increased from 20% in 2010 to 55% in 2019. And this will be an added burden to the common people of India. The financial condition of the Indian Railways is in shatters to say the least, but there is no roadmap for increasing earnings in the budget. Budget talks about raising 50 lakh crore for the rail sector till 2030. Budget said this money would be raised through the PPP routes as finishing the sanctioned project through budgetary support of 1.5 1.6 lakh crore per year would take decades. PPP has not been a success in railways in the past, as admitted in the first rail budget speech of NDA government in 2014. The budget does not elaborate any plan to raise the, this capital. It is believed that this is a way to bring it capital through loans, which will, which will put the burden of the debts on, on Indian railways. Even LIC has refused to give the promised 1.5 lakh crore loan that that was the MOU amount a few years ago. Unions believe that this is showing the seeds of privatization in the future, like Air India. 600 stations were identified for redevelopment to be executed by the contractors and even the adjacent lands owned by railways were proposed, were supposed to be given to this private player on 45 years of lease and for building of malls and plazas for their commercial use. It is nothing but filling of private coffers at the cost of national asset at the instance of the government. At present, 491 railways project including 189 new lines, 50 gauge conversion, conversion and 247 doubling projects are in different stages of execution, planning, sanction. The total length of these projects is 48,860.6 per kilometer, costing rupees 6.476 lakh crore. During the last three years and current year, railways have taken up service for 272 railway projects, new line, gauge, conversation, and doubling works for a total length of 26,954 kilometers. The expenditure on the 491, 491 projects up to March 2019 has been rupees 1.43 lakh crore.
projects that get less money and are on slow lane and low on priority like in Bengal. The bullet train project has missed its internal deadline for land acquisition while the government first wanted to advance the deadline to August 2022 from 2023. Now it says that only one small stretch will be opened by August 22. Going by the progress on the ground, it looks unlikely. Can there is no conclude. announcement for Please conclude. and moder Thank you, sir. Modernization, the old tracks and non-functional level crossing barriers, which will eventually decrease the number of train accident and increase speed for passenger convenience. The budget of the government should not be aimed at privatization of railways and to increase earnings through plugging the loopholes in the system. The government should keep in mind that government-owned railways provide nationwide connectively for common people. It appears that government is taking the path of more and the PPP and Thank partnering you. by completing privatization in the garb of modernization and efficiency. If the government does not make the budget more friendly for common people, we will be reminded of the famous saying, if a train does not stop at your station, then it's not your train. Thank